Hello everyone, I'm Gary Rosen, and welcome to installment number eight of Carlson Power Tools in under 10 minutes. I'm calling this one, 10 Surface Modeling Power Tools. First up, number one, building a surface from a point group. Instead of using a selection on the screen, I'm going to use a point group. Okay, we'll take all these defaults, we'll go with two meter contours, and for selection, we say from a file. When we say OK, we're going to overwrite the uh, tin because I already built it to practice. It says select the points and break lines, but rather than select anything at this point, we're going to press Enter and say use my CRDB, use my coordinate file. It says all or a group, and I'm going to say use a group, which I've already made, called topo. And these are the points I want to use, and I've excluded the points, of course, that I do not want to use. So when I tell it to proceed, it builds the surface from the point group. Now, no points need to be in the drawing. I just left them in here so you could kind of get a sense of what's going on. It did not use points in the drawing. It used a point group. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you, number one. Number two is we're going to use this surface manager, and we're going to come in here and look at this OG, we're going to say draw. It's going to bring us to a dialogue where we can change the appearance, if you will. We can draw the, the faces or, or the tin lines or whatever we might, we might want to do. What we're going to do is change the contours from 2 meters to 10 meters. And we say OK, and you'll see in the background it redraws the surface with just the 10 meter contour. So this is basically just changing the cosmetics of the appearance of the surface. That's number two. Number three is we want to do some editing of this surface. So we pick edit and we can see in this area right here we've got some triangles to get rid of. Now typically I would use a, a inclusion perimeter to do that but to show you these are all of the different editing tools and we're going to use remove triangle by interior point. As we start picking it basically very quickly removes the triangles as I select them. So there's one editing tool. And of course, it recontours on the fly as I go. So that's a remove triangle editing tool. And others that you might use very frequently might be something like uh, uh, swapping an edge, which is right here, swap an edge. And if I pick here, it's going to triangulate in the other direction and of course adjust the contours as it goes, etc. So all of these editing tools can be done from here. Very powerful tool. I can say okay, apply those changes and say I'm done. So that's number three. Number four is we're going to use the um, surface uh, uh, inspector and we're going to come in here and we're going to wipe out this one. Actually, take this one and backspace it, and take this one, go to our current project, Point Tools 8, OG. That's the surface we want to see. We only have one surface at this point, so there's no comparison uh, in terms of, of uh, cut or fill, but that's okay. We say okay, and as we hover over the surface, it'll give me a readout of the elevation. So we're in here about 475 in this area right here where we're going to do some work around 475, okay? So that's the surface inspector, that's number four. We can also take a look at the surface viewer under 3D view, surface file viewer. We're going to load up that same surface and we're going to take a quick look at it in the surface viewer, okay? And we can say color by elevation if we want to. Um, we can move the light source around to get a better view, make it brighter or whatever. But that's a great tool to, to view surfaces, as uh, you will see some more. So there's number five, I believe, is the surface viewer. Next thing I want to show you is I'm going to go to this layer called Scrape. And I'm going to draw a polyline in an area right out here that we're going to want to remove some material before we design our site. So we'll come in here, we'll say C for close, and now we're going to jump into what's called the triangulation file utilities, tin file utilities. We're going to load our surface, and then we're going to proceed to the next screen where all the tools are. We're going to pick a, pick a bounding polyline that we want to use, and then we're going to come in and say subtract. And we're going to come in and say subtract a value. And we're going to go ahead and do uh, uh, 
uh, let's so we can see it. Let's do two meters. Now, now that's ex extreme, but but that's okay. We'll say okay. Subtract that out, and let's say save that as a new surface called scraped. Scraped, and we say save, and let's go ahead and exit, and let's take a look at that. So we go back to our 3D viewer of surfaces, and we look at scraped, and what we should see if things go well, is in that area. And you can see it pretty clearly here. Got to kind of move. And again, it's it's a big surface, and but that was two meters. But you can see that we have scraped two meters of material in this area of the site. So there you go, number six, tin file utilities. And we use the subtract function to lower a certain part of our surface with a polyline. Very powerful tool. And of course you can raise and there's all sorts of other options in there, but that's the one we used, number six. Next, we're gonna jump back to our surface inspector, which we've already used, number four. So we're not gonna count it again, but we're gonna add in a second surface, which we just created called scraped. And we're gonna tell it to report the difference. If we move inside our area, you see a two meter difference. If we move outside our area, you see that they are the same. So that's exactly a another kind of visual proof of what, of what we did there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a rectangle and we'll start it right here and we'll say dimensions 200 by 200. And we're gonna use that as a footprint, footprint for our pad template. So we're gonna come in here to design pad template and we're going to uh, take these defaults are fine and we're gonna say okay and we're going to pick the polyline and our target is scraped, the, the lowered surface. That's what we want the grading to go out to. Uh, it asks for a, an outfill slope. We'll say f uh, six to one for cut or for fill and it does its job. It uh, gives us a volume and shows us the the initial grading. It says, do you want to adjust the parameters and redesign the pad? I'm going to say no, and I'm going to say do not create a new surface. And the reason is what we can do now is double click. So that's number seven. And number eight is to edit. Double click on it. If you have civil, you can double click and edit the surface or edit the, edit the pad template and you can adjust the slopes, I could say, okay, go, you know, go at eight to one for a cut or, or a, this is all fill, we'll go eight to one and just reprocess, just keep clicking. It'll adjust it. Here's the cut and fill numbers. Um, if we want to move it, we can say, um, move, the, uh, where is it? Move the pad and pick it up and just say, well, we're, we're going to move it up over here and just re process it and it'll recalculate everything, give us new volumes. We can say rotate it and say, well, we changed our mind. We're going to change the orientation to go like this and just reprocess it. It keeps updating everything, including the cut and fill numbers. You can also balance it if you want to and tell it within 10 cubic meters, adjust the elevation until I get the same amount of cut and fill. And it drops the elevation to 476 or 473.75 and balances the site. There's tons of things that you can do here. Now we're gonna raise it back up. We're gonna go back up to 480 just to see something interesting. We're gonna reprocess it. It's gonna do this huge fill and we're gonna say, write that out as a tin, which we're gonna call site. Okay, number nine, save the edited surface as a new surface. Finally, number 10, back to tin file utilities. We're gonna load our scraped surface and we're going to merge in. Another powerful, number 10, merge the second tin into the first tin. The second tin is called site and we're gonna basically cut a hole in the surface and put our tin in there, which is gonna be called final design one. And we're gonna take a look at that. And we basically created a new surface that shows what it looks like after this part is done. So we're gonna view that surface viewer and we're gonna say final. And you can see right out here in the middle is there's our scraped area and there's our design pad pasted in, cut into that hole. Hope that was helpful. See you next time.